Hello boys and girls, um, have you woken up? How was your weekend? I know um, some of you, your joints are still stiff and uh, I would like us to exercise a bit before we begin to learn today. Can we stand up please? Stand up everybody. Thank you, thank you. I want us to at least swing around us. Let's start to the left, the right, to the left, to the right. Now I want us to do it very fast now. Very, very fast. Uh huh. Let's start. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Can we uh, now squat? Let's go down. Go down softly. Slowly, 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 slowly. Slowly, slowly. I can see you, Berez. You are not squatting. Blessing. Blessing, please squat. Doreen, Doreen, stay there for a while. Stay there for a while. Let's start rising. Rise up, rise up, rise up. That is now very cool. Now breathe in and out. In again and out. Welcome to mathematics. Now, last time we learned about volume of cubes and cuboids. And um, who can remind me the formula of finding the volume of a cuboid? Jasmine Wanjiko. Jasmine Wanjiko, the volume of a cuboid. Very good, Jasmine. It is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. Very good. Length multiplied by width multiplied by height. Class, repeat. The volume of a cuboid equals to length multiplied by width multiplied by height. Very good. Yes, Lev is karaoke. Please remind me the formula of finding volume of a cube. Karaoke? Very good. The formula of finding volume of a cube is length times length times length. Very good. Because all sides of a cube are equal. Thank you. Today, we are learning about capacity. We are learning about capacity. Now, on my whiteboard, I have written the unit of capacity that we ought to learn in class six. Boys and girls, can you be able to read this unit? Read the unit together. Liters. Milliliters. Deciliters. Very good. These are the units of measuring capacity. Can I get examples of quantities that you have seen measured in deciliters and milliliters or even liters? Yes, Stephen Nanga. Very good. Milk. Milk is measured in milliliters. We can also have milk in deciliters. Yes, somebody else? Lucy Mukami. Lucy Mukami. Very good. Cooking oil. The liquid cooking oil can be measured in milliliters, liters, and deciliters. Somebody else? Shalene Hall. Very good. Kerosene or paraffin. 
is also measured in liters and milliliters. Uh -huh. That is very good. Do you have anything else that can be measured in uh, liters and milliliters, if not deciliters? Travis Kengori. Travis Kengori, I knew it. I knew to talk about yogurt. Uh, somebody else here is, is uh, whispering uh, juice. Those are measured in milliliters, liters, and uh, deciliters. Thank you. Now you know them. Now let's look at conversion of units of capacity. I've already written for you. Boys and girls, shall we look at the white? 1,000 milliliters make one liter. 1,000 milliliters make one liter. Let's read together. 100 milliliters make one deciliter. Yes? Then, 10 deciliters make one liter. Very good. Th that is how those are, that is the table we use to convert units of liters. Units of liters. Thank you. Now we have the teacher's example one. Teacher's example one. We ask to convert 12 liters into milliliters. When converting units, I used a certain mnemonic. Who can remind me the mnemonic? Yes, Lanesha. Lanesha Stella. Or Stello. Thank you for the correction. Lanesha Stello. Correct. B is B, B, B to smaller multiply. B S M. Smaller to bigger divide. S B D. Let me write them somewhere. There's B, S, M, and S, B, D. These are the two mnemonics that would help us to convert very easily and quickly, especially during examination. But let us follow the right method now here. We have been told one thousand milliliters make one liter if we can reverse it the other the other way around we will make a statement that if one liter equals to one thousand milliliters what about the three dots indicate what about 12 liters 12 liters. What about 12 liters? Boys and girls, we have known how to cross multiply. We multiply 12 liters by 1000 all over 1 liter. Now, let's look, write it here. 12 liters, liters times 1000 milliliters all over one liter yes are we there now a liter cancels a liter very good now we remain with 12 multiplied by a thousand 12 multiplied by one thousand please virginia Mwikali, tell me what do we get when you multiply 12 by 1,000? Very good. Brilliant, Virginia. So the answer is going to be 12,000 milliliters. And boys and girls, that is the answer. That is the answer. Clap for yourselves. Brilliant class. Let's go to teacher's example number two. Change 4,500 milliliters 
into liters. Ibrahim read that sentence again. Change 4,500 milliliters into liters. Into liters. Let us check on our conversion table. 1,000 milliliters equals to 1 liter. So we will say if 1,000 milliliter equals to 1 liter, 1 liter, what about 4,500 milliliters? Again, boys and girls, we cross multiply. We cross multiply. Now, I want to remind us before we cross multiply, I want to remind you something. Here, in the first example, we wanted to convert from liters to milliliters. And so we were to start with if one liter equals to 1,000 milliliters. From liters, starting from left, from liters to milliliters on the right. And so we have to start with, the statement has to start with liters. Did you understand? But here, we are converting from milliliters. The journey begins at milliliters and goes to liters. And so the statement has to start with milliliters. If 1,000 milliliters equals to one liter, therefore 4,500 milliliters will be equal to what? Now you understand how to start a statement. You don't just start it anyhow. It depends with where you are starting, from which units are you converting to which one. And that informs how you start your statement. And so we cross multiply that way. 4,500 milliliters multiplied by one liter all over one thousand milliliters again boys and girls the milliliter cancel the milliliter there we no longer have milliliters we do not want them the two zeros cancel the two zeros there now we have 44 let me write what we are left with we have 45 sorry times one liter that's 45 liters over 10 boys and girls look at that remember when we cancel the zero it creates a decimal there so we no longer have the zero but we have a decimal there so the answer comes becomes 4.5 liters. Boys and girls, did you understand? Brilliant. Now, let us go to the teacher's example number three. I hope you are noting the method and the steps involved. Example number three, and I would like Mary Akeni to read the question for us. Thank you, Mary. Let's go, Mary, together with the teacher. A container holds 125 milliliters of water when full. What is its capacity in liters? Class, shall we all read that one the way Mary Akinyi has read? Together, a container holds 125 milliliters of water when full. What is its capacity in liters? Very good. 
Now let us look at it. We have been told it is the capacity is given in milliliters. So we are starting our journey from where? Joy Mumbi, where are we starting our journey? From where are we converting to where? Very good, from milliliters. So our statement must start with milliliters. Now, I would like Hope Wanjiko, I would like Hope Wanjiko to make the statement for me. Hope. Wow, wonderful, Hope. So we say, if 1,000 milliliters equals to one liter, therefore, or what about 125 milliliters? That was brilliant. Hope. Hope, Wanjiko, that was brilliant. Uh huh. So we cross multiply. Can somebody multiply, cross multiply for me? Alan Geshuhi. Would you multiply for me? Cross multiply for me. Um. Ah, very good. Alan, that is going to be 125 milliliters multiplied by one liter all over 1,000 milliliters. Very good. What is our next step? What is our next step? Riba, Riba Regan. You have ex ex escaped many questions, but today I caught you up. Can you answer that question? Riba Regan. Very good, Riba. We cancel the milliliters. Very good. Now we have 125 multiplied by 1 over 1000. What do we do, Lewis Karaoke? What do we do, Lewis? Very, very brilliant, Lewis. So you've been listening. We have this zero cancelled, creating a decimal there. This other zero cancelled, transferring the decimal to the left. Yes. And this other zero transfers that decimal further to the left and we write there zero. Very brilliant. So it's 0 0.125 times one liter, which gives us 0 0.125 liters. That is the answer there, boys and girls. I am so happy that you follow these and you already are able to do that. I want us to look at teacher's example number four. And again, we are doing it all together, all of us together. Uh, Stephen Nyaga. Stephen Nyaga, please read the question for us. Stephen? Yes. Stephen has completed. Shall we all read the question, class? How many deciliters are there in two liters? How many deciliters are there in two liters? Very good. Victor Moore. Victor Moore. How many deciliters are there in two liters? Referring to our conversion table, 10 deciliters are equals to one liter. Our journey begins at liters. And so if one liter is equals to 10 deciliters, what about two liters? Again, we cross multiply. We cross multiply. I need somebody to cross multiply for me. Shane Luceno. Shane Luceno. Yes. Who can help Shane Luceno? 
He didn't get it right. Michael, would you please? Very good. Shen, you say no, please pay attention. It's going to be two liters multiplied by 10 deci liters all over one liter. This, this was one liter. Thank you. Yes, did you understand, Shane? But do it take us to the next level? Baldwin? Not really, not really. Jaden, could you please correct? Baldwin? Wonderful, thank you for trying. Baldwin, but the, and the, the right step is to cancel the liters. Then we remain with two multiplied by 10 deciliters. Lanesha. Lanesha. Lanesha 2 multiplied by 10. Oh my God. Joy Mumbi help her. Very good. It's going to be 20. So that is going to be 20 deciliters. Did you understand that, Sam? And the last Sam. And the last Sam, and I want us to really pay attention. I want us to really pay attention. All right? Brandon, read the question for us. We are listening. Yes, class. Shall we read after Brandon? Convert three liters, six deciliters into deciliters. Oh my God, that is a question that looks compound. Yet it is not complicated. Tell your neighbor it's compound but not complicated. Very good. Yes. Lucy Mukami, pay attention. This is what we are going to do. We have three liters and six deciliters to convert to deciliters. And so we assume, we assume we don't have the six deciliters because the six deciliters are already in deciliters. So we don't convert it. We will only convert three liters. Boys and girls, if one liter is equals to 10 deciliters, what about three liters? We cross multiply. We cross multiply. We cross multiply. Doreen Joki, please cross multiply for us. Wonderful Doreen. That is going to be three liters multiplied by ten deciliters all over one liter. Very good. Blessing. Blessing Musimbi. What is our next step? Very good. We are cancelling the liters. Now we have three multiplied by ten. Three multiplied by ten. Alan, Alan Geshuhi. Very good. That is going to be thirty. Thirty. Deciliters. Remember, boys and girls, there's something we have left behind. And I would like Travis Kemori to remind me what have we left behind. What have we left behind, Travis? Very good, very good, very good. We have left six 
deciliters. And so we add plus six deciliters. When you add plus six deciliters, what do we get? What do we get? River. Yes, very good. We will get 36 deciliters. And that is the answer. Boys and girls, you can see where we came from. We have 3 liters, 6 deciliters. And so we are changing into deciliters. We decide that 6 deciliters are already in deciliters. So we don't need to change it. So we only change three liters. And then the answer we get, we add, we add to six deciliters. And that's what we get as the answer. Boys and girls, I hope you have understood. Have you understood? Please do more practice on that. And I would like you to, to do practice on that in uh, your primary mathematics in your primary mathematics, I want you to do exercise 110. Exercise 110 on page 173. The camera is focusing on it. All the questions. Then you can come to exercise 111. Select some questions there. Don't do all. And then exercise 112 to select some questions there make sure you've done enough practice so that you are able to understand boys and girls i was glad teaching you do you have any question shall we sum up our lesson by asking you to tell me how many let me wrap very quickly and then you will tell me I hope nobody has seen it. We are pretending not to have seen it. How many milliliters make one liter? Yasmin? Very good, 1,000 milliliters. How many uh, deciliters make one liter? Baldwin? 10 deciliters make one liter. Beautiful. God bless you, boys and girls. I was very happy teaching you. Have a nice time.